God has not called us to wrath. It's not God's will that we go into tribulation. It's God's will that you get ready, make the rapture. You get ready, Revelations 4. Remember, tribulation don't start to Revelation 6, verse 4. When the wars come, then they're going to have somebody to sign a seven-year peace treaty. And that seven years, we're supposed to avoid. We're not supposed to be here. Because they'll be killing people wholesale price. Wholesale quantities. People will be dying. Life will be very cheap. And if you love yourself, if you love your family, if you want to have a great reward, do it now. What we do today matters. What you do today with your offerings, you want to feed Creflo Dollar and all those line people that take $125,000 a week out of one little place in New York City, out of a bunch of little poor black people, and he wants to bless them. <laughs> Not, you're going to get blessed giving money to preach that kind of gospel. You can forget about that. I believe sowing and reaping. I believe that policy is good. But remember, the devil wants you to sow your seed in his field. Don't be deceived. Whatever you sow, that shall you reap. Don't sow in his field and don't support these false prophets. Call out their names. Don't be afraid to tell nobody what they're doing. You want a video of it? I'll give it to you. These guys are really corrupted. They don't have any fear of God. We're living in a time today... When people are falling by the wayside. I don't believe in listening to them people. They got demon spirits with that kind of preaching. It corrupts the minds of people and get them to believe in lies. It's called sorcery. The devil's got a lot of different things with sorcery today. He's got sorcery and pills. Those great merchants there in Revelation 18. He's got sorcery in television. He's got sorcery in books. He's got people that pray against you all the time. We're so innocent as Christians. There's a man who lived right down the street. Larry told me he's got a pentagram in his house and he prays against those evil Christians every day. Isn't that cool? How'd you like to be his neighbor? They believe that Christians are the most evil people on the earth. I guess because we don't go along with their sorcery, whatever their... I mean, you know, we don't believe what they believe and we don't want them to have any fun or something like that. I don't know what they believe. But I believe Jesus is coming back. And I encourage everybody, you know what? If you want to be a part of a real move of God, get a life, a prayer life. Get your scripture. Write down your scriptures. This is important. Feeding your God nature will take you higher than you could ever go by just being a Christian and believing. Learning the ideal. Now listen to this and I'm going to close. Knowledge. We have a desire for knowledge. If you don't have a desire for knowledge, then you don't have a good understanding of what it's about. Hosea 6.4 talks about people destroyed from the lack of knowledge. God does not want you destroyed. God wants you to increase in godliness. 1 Thessalonians 2.19 this is my job. Paul said, what is this about my coming or your coming that a crown of rejoicing? He said, you are my crown of rejoicing when we stand in the presence of God. What matters to me is you making the rapture with me and he's not taking this to take them people through th tribulation. Paul is talking about 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 9 standing that we will be there in the presence of God at the rapture. That's what Paul wants. This way we can have a great reward. Let me tell you, the rapture is worth making. Amen. You know, if you think it ain't, brother, you're really...